So you're thinking about making a move right here to Princeton, Texas. Yes, we're out here in Princeton, Texas again here today. It has been a while since we have been out here, but I'm gonna be showing you a neighborhood called Town Park by Pace Setter Homes. I know there's tons of affordable new construction out here in Princeton, DR Horton, Syntex Homes, just to name a few. MI Homes has a brand new community we'll be showing you soon, but we're gonna be showing you Town Park here today. It's a little bit of a unique community as it's starting. Prices are very, very low. You can have a beautiful finished out home out here for the low 300,000s. Now, this isn't gonna be a fit for everybody, but if you're looking for a nice affordable home, on with very little maintenance. They take care of your side yard, your front yard, everything here. So of course the HOA is gonna be a little bit higher uh, out here than most places. About I think it's 1500, but you don't have to pay for any yard maintenance. So these lots are gonna be on 40 wide lots. The homes are gonna start around the 1200 or so square foot range and go up to about 2300 square feet. You're also gonna have the option to build a, a townhome. So uh, two attached homes, that's another option for you out here but we're going to be showing you the melrose is a single family home it is not very big but it's a beautiful finish out for only 1277 square feet and you can build this for the very very low 300s around 309,000. so let's go ahead and check it out One other thing before we go inside, I would like to note about these particular homes. They have a nice courtyard area with a covered patio space that is really large for this size home. So you've got a nice little gate, covered roof area. So if it's rain and storm outside, you really don't have to worry about it. It's attached directly to your garage. You're gonna have a door that goes straight to your garage plus your garage door and nice coverage. So a nice little feature of these types of homes. So welcome into the Melrose. As soon as you walk in, you're gonna notice you have three large windows and windows throughout this space that make it feel a little more modern than usual. But like I said, this home is only 1277 square feet, so it is not really big, but they did a really nice use of space. So you've got your living room area and your kitchen all in one, which is the very popular way to do things now for entertaining. What's nice is they have a gas stove out here. A lot of neighborhoods are gonna be just electric. You've got a real vent hood. This is just a microwave, but it is going to vent out of the house. This right behind me is gonna be the garage space, but it's currently used for the office space. But right behind me, you're gonna have a nice size pantry space with an additional window and cabinets that run along this entire kitchen. So even though the kitchen isn't really big, you're still gonna have plenty of cabinet space for somebody who's gonna want a home of this size. But back here, you're gonna have your main living area. Of course, it looks off into your kitchen with tons of windows. Like I said, there's natural light everywhere in this home, including the pantry bringing light in as well. But a nice little entertainment space with a beautiful back patio setting back there, which is a nice touch. These homes are gonna have a beautiful back patio for being only on a 40 foot lot. come from the living room to the back of the house where your master bedroom is gonna be as well as your laundry space. Now your laundry space is not gonna be huge, but it's a good use of space. It's nice, well, and hidden. And then you have your window, door, 
out to your beautiful back patio and backyard area. But then you're gonna walk into your master bedroom. One of my favorite features of this bedroom is they have this nice little bay window that's cut out and adds additional space, seating space, and then two windows in the back as well. You're gonna have nine foot ceilings in this house uh, throughout besides the uh, guest bedrooms, but most of them are gonna be nine feet. So not super tall, but definitely tall enough. Now for such a small house, it actually has a decent sized closet. Let me show you something right here. If you come through here, it's a very good size and use of space. Bam, look at that. Lots of space. So that entire wall back there to the ceiling is all one big closet, which is a really nice touch. Once you come into the bathroom space, you have an additional storage closet right here, a very well-sized master shower. This is a much bigger actually than a lot that we see with just a shower space. So it's just as long, but it's actually gonna be extended out a little bit further. So a nice touch with a window up top to once again, bring in natural light. You've got a double vanity space and of course the bathroom right here. So nice use of space for not a very large home. Now we came back through the living area. You've got a nice little kitchenette, but you're gonna have two bedrooms as well as a full bathroom over here on the side of the house, just off of the kitchen. So these are gonna be not your biggest bedrooms, but like I said, this house is just under 1300 square feet, but you get a nice size closet, a beautiful window, and a perfect place for a nursery. So if you're a first, uh, first time home buyer, possibly somebody who's a small family with little kids, um, this could be a perfect house or somebody who may be retired. Like I said, you don't have to take care of the lawn here. The only maintenance you're gonna have is your backyard, which with a 40 wide lot, it's not gonna be really big, but this is gonna be the exact same bedroom, but actually a little bit larger closet space in here. But beautiful natural light coming in, um, just a nice well set up house for only 1300 square feet. finish off today's tour with this beautiful back patio space. Got a nice little gate around it. Beautiful wood cedar fence that's all stained for you. This will be the only maintenance that you have on this house, but a good use of space in this beautiful home. Uh, this neighborhood is also gonna have beautiful walking trails throughout. You're gonna be right off of 380. So you're gonna have commercial space, restaurants, Walmart right down the street, lots of things to do. So you don't have to worry about commuting too far, but Beautiful home option. Like I said, they're also gonna have the townhome options in these homes, uh, basically double in size from the one we saw here today. So lots of options for you here. But if you're looking for anywhere else in Princeton or anywhere in the DFW Metroplex, I'd love to be a resource for you and be your agent of choice. So make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Hope to see you around town.